Hey guys, me host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got. Spider-Man Homecoming action figures. Now, these are five and a half inch action figures released by Marvel and Hasbro. Um, no Disney logos on here though, but that's because of the deal with um, Sony, I believe. This is the Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming uh, action figures. Now, these were found in my local Tesco's and these were marked up at $9.95 each, which isn't bad. Now these are the five and a half inch range of the basic action figures, so they're not on scale with Lightly Legends or anything like that, but they are still pretty awesome. Now I'm going to go to the desk cam pretty early in this video because I'm going to uh, 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 and actually unbox all four of them in this video. So just to let you know we have the Tech Suit Spider-Man, we have the original Spider-Man, we have the Homemade Suit Spider-Man. And we even have Marvel's Vulture, who's looking pretty awesome, by the way. And it's played by Michael Keaton. So I'm really excited to see all these figures. So let's go to the desk cam so I can fully, fully show you guys everything about these figures. So let's do this. Okay, guys, and here they are. This is Vulture. Vulture's looking pretty awesome. Let's turn that packaging around. Marvel's Vulture. Adrian Toomes has built a highly advanced flight suit and uses its massive wingspan and incredible speed to battle the Spider-Man. The packaging is pretty awesome, I actually really like it. Also look out for the others in the range, but we already have those in this video, so no need to do that. Let's get him out of the package in just a second. We also have the home suit Spider-Man, the homemade suit. Now let's turn that one around. Peter Parker swings around New York City in a suit he made himself as the web-slinging hero Spider-Man. Then we have the new Marvel Spider-Man. This is based on the costume from the movie and obviously from Civil War when he was first introduced. Let's spin that one around. Spider-Man defends New York City with a suit full of advanced technology made for him by Tony Stark. And then we have the final one. Spider-Man, the tech suit version. Let's just quickly turn him around so you can see him up close. Look how awesome. Spin him back around. Spider-Man unlocks all the advanced features of his suit to unleash the full potential. Pretty awesome range, guys. I can't wait to get these out of the packaging and show you these awesome figures up close and personal. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I'm really keen to start with the home suit, homemade suit spider -Man. I keep calling it the home suit, the homemade suit Spider-Man, because I'm thinking this one's going to be the best. Let's crack him open. Get him out. Get him out. <laughs> so lovely. Okay. Now these seem to be in scale with the ones they released. Um, you know, the, the, the Disney Star have been selling the Marvel Avengers and they've also been selling the Guardians of the Galaxy. So this seems to be on scale with those. Now people were quite scared when this film was announced because they thought that no toys would come out because of the deal with Hasbro and Sony. But actually, it seems like we are going to get a whole line of figures. When people were saying that they, they didn't expect any, any stuff to be coming out because of the whole Disney and Sony deal, I, I knew straight away that there would be. There's no way they're going to release a film like Spider-Man and not release a bunch of uh, figures to go with it. Now, actually feeling this figure for the first time, and you know what? It's actually pretty good. It's not actually as flimsy and as rubbish as I thought it was going to be. It's actually got a lot of articulation. Uh, looking at him on this one for the first time, we've got an actual head sculpt here, which is quite nice. Um, not a lot of detail in it, obviously, but the head is on a ball joint, so you can lift that up and down, as well as left to right. The arms as well uh, lift up, as well as rotate. There is an elbow joint there. And that also rotates, which is very nice. So we're stepping into Marvel Legends territory here. No hand articulation, though, which is a little bit shame. It could have had a bit more articulation in the hands. That would have been pretty cool. But the best part is you can extend that arm um, with a slight bend, maybe, and put Peter Parker's web-slinging hands out there, which is pretty nice. Just a shame that we can't spin that hand around again to do it naturally. Um, but still a pretty awesome figure. Legs, sadly, don't have any um, outward motion. They just lift up, which is going to hinder the posability of the Spider-Man. Obviously, the web crawler does like to get himself into some low-down poses, which I'm feeling is going to be hard with this 
with all this, you know, with these articulation points. But the knee does bend and it does swivel as well, giving him a little bit more detailing. But again, without that hip articulation, there's not a great deal of posability that I can do with this basic figure. He's going to be more used for fighting poses than anything, or swinging through the air poses. He does come with an accessory piece, which is a web. So I could I put that in his hand here, look. So you can kind of hang him, which is pretty nice. I'm liking that a lot. So he swung on out of here. <laughs> We'll see him again at the end of the video. Let's move on. Let's look at Tech Suit Spider-Man. He's the one I'm quite interested in. Um, as obviously from the film and the things we've seen so far, I'm not sure how this is going to tie in or whether this is just more of a, um, a toy piece rather than actually movie related. It is a nice blue on dark blue Spider-Man, very reminiscent of the Detective Batman. So it may be nice to do a crossover with the with that Batman Arkham figure. Um, and obviously with the dark blue and stuff, it does look like Bat Batman's using his det detective skills on Spider-Man. Um, again, articulation points are exactly the same as the other figure, although a little bit thinner on this one. It's not as bulky, but that's because he's obviously wearing the spider suit rather than jeans and t-shirts and things. Um, so the head again is on a ball joint that does rotate left and right, a little bit looser than the other figure. Uh, the arms have the exact same articulation points. I won't go through the whole thing again. Uh, this one does feel a little bit more sturdy than the other one. The other one felt a bit flimsy. This one feels a lot nicer. Legs as well are on a rotation piece. And you can bend the knees there as well. Put him in some flippy poses. Again, I'm not sure how this is going to tie in with the film, with him being the uh, this version of him. But we'll soon see, I'm sure. Again, it does come with another accessory piece. And it is another like web piece. So let's put that bit in his hand here. Not sure how that ties in well with the film, but we'll see. We'll see what that's about. But yeah, a pretty cool action figure. Now this one um, definitely has a piece that's definitely not in the movie because it's got a blaster. But this is the original Spider-Man. Let's get him out. Here he comes. Now the blast piece is there, but I'm not going to use it. It's not canon with the movie. Yeah, <laughs> canon movie. Get what I did there? <laughs> Happy accident. Yeah. If you want it, guys, there it is. You push the end, it goes. Pew! Nope. <laughs> I hate when Hasbro include things that are just not in keeping with the movie. Uh, so the Spider-Man again, exactly the same as the previous one. If anything, this one's a little bit thinner than the previous one. They seem to be getting skinnier and skinnier the further down the range we get. Get out of here, Ray Lame Spider-Man. This is the original Spider-Man. <laughs> so again, the same articulation points. I haven't found anything new with this one. It is a more or less an exact mould, but it does feel sleeker and thinner. So I'm not sure if this is just a direct mould and a repaint. It doesn't look to be, actually. There is a slight height difference between the two, which I will show you uh, when we get down to desk level. The TechSuit Spider-Man is a few, is about a centimetre taller. It may be the way I pose them, I don't know, but they do look um, very similar in other aspects, but there is slight differences. Um, I picked up both, obviously, for review purposes. I don't think many people's going to pick up that tech suit Spidey. Ooh, very stiff joints in the hip there. Again, you're limited with the posing and the articulation because of that hip. All it needed was that hip rotation, and we are stepping into Marvel, t you know, Legends territory there. But all in all, it's still an excellent figure, and I still love it. Okay, guys, finally, the one you've been waiting for. It's the Falcon. Let's get him out. In the trailer, he says to Spider-Man, I will kill everyone in your whole family. Anyone that means anything to you. So he's going to be playing a bit of a dark role in this one. I can't find my scissors. Where have they gone? There they are. Because we are back to the Hasbro nefarious rope ties. They do love their rope ties down at Hasbro, it seems. Let's get this in. Whoop. 
and he's got his wing pieces here too lots of tiny little bits of rope ties and things don't want them going on the floor I don't want my daughter picking them Ooh, it's warm today Ooh. okay so here he is Oh, very stiff. Please tell me there's an articulation there. I don't think there is. I think that's stiff. Oh my god, that is standard. <laughs> so, we have a head movement here uh, with a uh, ball joint so it can rotate backwards and forwards. The arms, same as Spidey's, lift out. No elbow hinge, so the arms are static ones out, which is a bit of a hindrance. Legs, no knee joint on the legs either. Wow, so it is just a, this one is a 5 POA, guys. Unlike the other one, this one is a 5 POA figure. Now let's get those wings on here and see how they look. And that one goes there, and that one slots in the back. Sorry, that's my daughter you can hear in the background. Super Sorrel Jr. Oh, that took some doing, that took some pushing. And according to the packaging, he's not just anyone's vulture, he's Marvel's vulture! <laughs> he is pretty awesome though, I'm loving these uh, feet on the bottom. They've made him more tech related, rather than um, like in the comic books. He is more tech related, which is pretty nice. A Spider-Man suit himself in this one is pretty tech related as well, it seems. Uh, obviously made by Tony Stark. But this, it still is an awesome display figure, and it's the I've managed to find uh, of Spider-Man Homecoming, so until I get that Marvel Legend, this is the next best thing. And it's pretty awesome. For posability, to be fair, you've got to stand him straight and tall with his head posing off to the side, like he's watching for the Spider-Man to fly. But again, this is a pretty awesome figure. I may have to do some form of um, diorama with Spider-Man flying through the air and Vulture sort of swooping down after him. It's going to be awesome. Let's take it back to the desk cam, guys, so you guys can get a closer look at all four of these action figures in this collection. Hopefully I can get Vulture to stand. There we go. And then you guys can get a closer look at these figures before we end the video. Okay, guys, and here he is. That's the Tech Suit Spider-Man. Pretty awesome. Moving on to my personal favourite in this set, it's Vulture. He looks pretty awesome with the green on the black. But um, I like in the new textile version of him rather than it being uh, more animalistic. I'm liking those bird crow feet there with the uh, the boots. And that's a pretty cool touch. Wish it had a little bit more articulation, but it's still pretty awesome. The wings fit together here at the back and just click in together into place. Did take a little bit of pushing as you saw in the video. You may need to help a child with that. You have any kids that you're gonna get these for? Or if you're a big kid like me, you just need to use a lot of strength and spidey power. <laughs> And then, of course, we've got Spider-Man himself. He's looking pretty badass. Firing those webbins off. Uh, the articulation, again, is a little bit of a hindrance. Wish he had some hip articulation so that we can make him uh, look a little bit better. But we work with what we've got. And these are technically like five POAs, really. Uh, they've just got a few bits of other type articulations to kind of help him out. But I'm liking this figure. As you can see, let me put these two side by side for a second. I think... There is a little bit of a height difference here, very slightly, and uh, I do feel that the torso is thinner oop, on Tech Spider-Man than it is on regular Spidey. That could just be the way I'm looking at them and the colouring difference and the light and stuff maybe making it look that way. But I don't think this is just a basic, um, I don't think this is just a repaint or a recast, I think this is a whole new figure. But let me know in the comments, I'm sure another seasoned articulation and uh, veteran of the figures will let, let me know in the comments can't speak today and then of course we've got the home made suit Spidey he's looking pretty cool he doesn't want to stand up though I think it's the way I'm posing him I'm awful at posing but all in all he's the, my, one of my favorites in this collection because he's brand new and it's new to this film I think he looks pretty awesome let's go overhead here to get a bit of a better look yeah he's pretty cool I'm liking the suit Feels more, it's very, oh, God's sake, with the Spider-Man emblem on the back there as well. Can't get him to stand. The feet are just at an awful angle right now, and I can't really put them back one-handed. Oh, can I, can I impose him? Nope, can I help? <laughs> it's 
So there he is. He's pretty cool. But which is your favourite, guys? Let me know in the comments. Let's take it back to the big cam for the finale. So guys, which is your favourite from this set? Vultures are running a pretty high one, but I'm thinking home, homemade spider suit for the win. It, just because it's, it's, it's definitely a homecoming figure, I don't think we're going to see this again. It's nice to finally get like a, a Spider-Man that's not in his uh, you know, full garb. This is like the pre, pre Spidey garb, which is pretty cool. Comic book related as well. So he did have a little bit of a homemade suit uh, in the Spider comics as well in the beginning. So this is pretty cool. I'm liking it a lot. Um, again, Vulture, he's running at a very close second though. Just the articulation that is making me think Spider is better. <laughs> Stupid vulture. But which is your favourite, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash that subscribe button, guys. Subscribing really supports the show. Helps me keep making these awesome videos. And I'll speak to you again. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye-bye.